Hello children, today in mathematics we will learn about weight. How to measure weight in lesson 7 measurement. Okay. Now here you can see one boy comes and asks for the grapes to the fruit seller. The fruit seller weighs the grapes in his weighing pan using metal weight. Let's understand about metal weight in detail in today's lesson. After completing this lesson, you will be able to compare weights, measure weight using balance, measure mass and relation between kilogram and gram you will come to know. Here is pumpkin, cabbage and lemon. Can you tell which of the vegetables is lightest and can be lifted easily? Lemon. Lemon is the lightest object among these three and can be lifted easily. Now let's see few examples to understand the concept of weight easily. Sonu, please give me your ball. Let's weigh this. But how will do that? This is weighing balance. On one side, I will keep ball and on the other side, I will put some marbles. What is the weight of the ball? How many marbles? Can you tell? The weight of the ball is 17 marbles. The same ball weighs 10 of my marbles. You can see my marbles are same weight. Salma says, how is that possible? How can the same ball have different weights? Tony replies, the marbles that Sonu brought were smaller than the marbles that Nandu brought. That's the reason for this confusion. Tai says, that's the reason why shop keep weights which are the standard units for measuring weight. If something is weighed using standard weights, it measures the same no matter who does the weighing. The kilogram is a standard unit for measuring weight. Understood? Children, when you go to a shop, you buy things in standard units. Uncle, please give me a 2 kg of jawar. I also want 1 kg of sugar, says Tony. Uncle, I want 5 kg of wheat, says Salma. Means here you are asking for things in standard units, gram, kilogram. See, 1 kilogram is equal to 1000 gram. Kilogram is denoted by kg and gram by g. They are units of weight. Kilogram or kg like 2 kg and gram like 500 gram. Okay children, understood? When you buy things, you buy in gram or kilograms. Now how to measure weight? How things are measured? Let's understand. This is a weighing balance. With this you come to know actual weight of the object. Here on one side object is kept and on the other side metal weight is kept. The weight what you want means 1 kg, half kg or 2 kg. Understood? As I said to you before that 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams. Same way half kg means it is equal to 500 grams. There are different types of weighing machine. This is electronic machine. On the steel plate object is kept and on the screen you can see weight is shown. It is used in many shops and you might have also seen use of metal weight. In front of you there are different weights. 100 gram, 500 gram, 1 kg. With the help of these weight you get actual weight of the given thing. Okay. But we can't have separate metal weight for every weight. 
then how can we come to know the actual weight of the given things let's see look here to weigh 1 kg potato why is the vendor using 500 gram weights instead of 1 kg weight do you know the reason Using multiple weight to measure weight means we can use multiple weights. To 500 grams when we add it is equal to 1000 gram. As I said to you before 1000 gram is equal to 1 kg. So the vendor used two 500 gram metal weight instead of 1 kilogram weight. Understood children? Through this example, you come to know metal weights available in few gram to many kilogram weight can be used to weigh the given things. Okay. Listening the use of multiple weight, Tony says, my mother wanted half a kilogram of sugar to make some halwa. And we had a bag of one kilogram of sugar. Hearing this, Salma asks, then what did you do? Tony replies, little by little, I put all the 1 kg sugar into two pans of the balance and brought them at the same level. In this way, I separated the sugar into two equal parts. Thus, each pan held half a kilogram of sugar. This is how I gave my mother half a kilogram of sugar. Knowing Tony's smartness, Salma says, wow, that's a great idea. My mother also often needs half a kilogram of something or the other. Hearing this, Tony says, I will make a half kilogram measure for your mother. See, I will put the leftover half a kilogram of sugar in one pan and small stones in the other to balance the sugar. I will tie those stones in a handkerchief and that will be a half kilogram measure. Salma, we could even make a quarter kilogram measure in the same way. Tony and Salma were happy as they came to know how to find out the actual weight of the given thing. Children, I hope you also might have understood how to find out the weight of the given thing. Thank you.